Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a few things that we have to take care of. The chickens have been doing something really naughty and they've been spending a lot more time in the coop because the coop, uh, the weather here in Alaska has been really cold, really windy, and it's been really snowy. When the weather is harsher, the hens like to stay in the coop more often and I think that's why they've started eating more of their own eggs, which is a huge problem. So we keep going out to the boxes to check for eggs and there's none out there. But I can see like where the bedding is like kind of wet and everything. And I actually watched one of our hens, I went to get the eggs and one of the hens was actually eating one of the eggs. I caught her in the act. And so what we're gonna do today is I have to clean the coop. I'm gonna go ahead and I got these ceramic eggs that you can put in the nesting boxes. And when you do that, they will peck at the ceramic egg and it won't break and you hopefully they're gonna lose interest in eating um, their own eggs. We have to clean the coop, we're gonna put in the ceramic eggs and then I also need to put up new bird netting. The big snow load that we had recently um, tore down all of the bird netting and so uh, this is really bad but one of our hens got out and one of our dogs got her. Gotta replace the netting we need to put the ceramic eggs in the coop and clean the coop. And that'll be some of our winter chores for the day. You can hear them fighting in there. And I think then Ollie and I might go cross country skiing. So just around the yard. Um, but I thought I'd bring you along. You can watch us. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this poultry booster into their food and just mix it up a bit before I give it to them. Hopefully that'll give them a little bit of um, booster. I think it's really good timing because it's supposed to get cold after today. Oh yeah. So perfect. get all the old wood chips out while it's warm so it was nice and loose. Right. And now it's gonna get cold and it'll help them to stay warm in here. ceramic eggs we also use them in the springtime and we're trying to get them to become um, broody so that we can get baby chicks but we're just gonna use them now so that when they peck them they're hard they don't crack and then they finally give up hopefully
So we had a lot of comments on uh, how we're going to cook our rainbow trout we caught before Christmas. And we decided we're going to do this here at the house. And uh, it is a rainbow trout. So typically what we do is we're going to take one egg, put it in a plate, and then we'll just beat that egg. So the yolk and the uh, egg white is all mixed together. And then we're going to go ahead and put salt and pepper on our fish, like we did the last time at the cabin. So pretty much the same, except this time we're going to use breadcrumbs. Make sure you put plenty of salt and pepper on the inside of the fish. And if you did watch the uh, last video when we were at the cabin, I personally love the skin. So I don't want to overdo it because I'm going to eat the skin. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the fish. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take the fish and literally just roll it in the uh, beaten egg. So that's that. We'll put this away. Okay, we're going to heat up our pan. And the last thing we're going to do is, so I got breadcrumbs and there's all kinds of different breadcrumbs. These ones are just breadcrumbs. There's no seasoning in there whatsoever. So all you're going to do is just put it in a, on a plate, take the whole fish again, and just roll it the breadcrumbs pretty well. So you got it all the way around and the egg is basically so it sticks better to the fish. So we'll let it sit here for a little while and as soon as our pan, our oil in the pan is heated up, the entire fish goes in the pan. Okay, it looks like our oil is at the perfect temperature. I set it uh, to medium. I'm gonna make sure we got enough oil in the pan so it doesn't stick to it. And then we'll put the lid on. And now we're gonna give it about five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna roll it over. And then we'll check and see what the inside of the fish looks like. Both sides look very good now, but I did turn the heat down just a little bit, so it's sitting in low. See what it looks like. Mm. Smells good. Got the perfect color. I just hope that the meat on the upper part of the fish is not too, not raw and the bottom not too dry. So what I did actually in the pan, I angled the fish just a little bit. So the belly meat was um, not touching the pan bottom, but the top did. So we'll find out now. It looks actually really good. I would say it is absolutely perfect. It's moist. It's all the way through, so not raw at all. Mm -hmm. Turned out really well.